Okay, hello everyone. This is Maple Tree Logistics Trust, uh, third quarter FY2324 financial results dated 24th January 2024. All right, uh, have to say that their numbers look good. All right, revenue is up 2.1%, NPI 1.5%, DPU is up 1.1% year on year, which is fantastic. I don't think there are many REITs that can do this. Portfolio occupancy is pretty high, although there's a slight drop from the last quarter, right? Average rental revision is positive 3.8%, which is great. Average leverage is well controlled 38.8%. Okay, good amount of debt hedge to fix rates. Right, so yeah, I'm not going to go through all this because we want to be uh, quite succinct with this one. Right, year on year, the results are actually quite good. DPU is up 1.2%. This is despite borrowing costs going up 5.5%. Right. So I have to hand it to Maple Tree Logistics Trust Management. Right. Somehow they manage everything very well. Right. So you can see property expenses went up by 6.5% as well. Right. But somehow they can manage everything and DPU is still up. Right. Uh, it's quite clear that most REITs DPU is down. Lah, if you look across the board. Right. Uh, we look at 9 months versus 9 months. Again, DPU is up. Uh, 0.7% okay very marginal but still positive right quarter and quarter is the first slight disappointment okay down 0.7% but I really think this is uh, acceptable all right given the constraints of uh, what's going on in the broader uh, uh, area right so we, if we look at all the rising costs uh, given what's happening right I think it's a uh, acceptable very marginal drop right anyway we look at the rest of the data right leverage is very well controlled and if you look at cost of debt really low 2.5 right this is really low i think right if you look at uh fct is something like 4.2 or 4.3 percent which is yeah i'm a little bit shocked that fct has such high uh uh interest uh cost right but anyway uh interest coverage ratio is a bit on the low side 3.7 if you want to adjust you want to look at the adjusted value 3.2 right so this is a little bit on the low side okay not so good right they're saying that they have enough uh credit facilities to cover the next two years worth of debt right so no issue there right uh i don't think that there's any question of how uh they manage their debt lah. i think it's quite well managed not going to talk too much about this right uh geographical diversification right like i said uh this can be good and bad right so any one sector pulling it down like the last time we talked about how china and hong kong were pulling it down right i think it was more china right but the rest of the, the portfolio really pulled uh the performance uh, forward right so they actually did okay because of that right uh so because of the way so many properties in so many countries in general i think maple tree logistics is just a bet on uh, the management right if the management you trust then you buy this read because uh really i don't know how you're going to analyze so many properties in so many countries right so you just have to trust that the management is doing the right thing and so far according to the numbers i have to say that uh I think they have earned my trust lah. Okay. <laughs> That's not a recommendation to buy or sell. Alright, but yeah, it's uh Maple Tree Logistics really one of those uh reads that I think no matter how you want to look at it, uh very well managed. Right, let's have a look at to see if there's uh, anything else. Right, so I will just look at the outlook, right? Not not to worry about these things. Right, so you can see that it's quite similar to MIT, right? Uh high interest rate, slowing growth, persistent growth. Uh, geopolitical concerns right uh, strong leasing demand seen across most of the markets okay although china leasing environment remains challenging with negative rental revisions expected to see the next few quarters right if you recall in the last video we saw i think china was really the bad one everything else was doing okay right and they pulled china out of the water lah. okay so re regional com currencies weaken against the singapore dollar right so you're going to expect that uh, foreign currencies will that uh you earn from overseas will come back to Singapore dollar and uh, that will translate to lower earnings right because SGD is strong right and borrowing costs are expected to rise lah, right this is ex expected right so uh, yeah so with uh, Maple Tree Logistics if you trust the management yep then keep the read <laughs> right so again not a uh, call to buy or sell all right please do your own due diligence right this is uh, not financial advice okay with that thank you for your attention